guys! Welcome to Creatively Homemade. My name is Jennifer. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I love to share fun and creative paper crafting projects with you. So each month I have a customer appreciation gift. Um, if you place a $50 or more order and use the current month's host code, I will send you a free gift. It's usually an embossing folder. This month I am giving away the Petal Pair Embossing Folder Duo. You actually get two embossing folders this month. You get this pretty flower design. I know it's kind of hard to see there on the video. And then you get one that's more like um, leafy stems or a vine type embossing folder. So you get a set of two. And then you also get a card kit to put those to put together using your new embossing folders. So here are the cards you could get. Um, the color may vary. You're either going to get Calypso Coral or Crushed Curry, one of the two. Really cute with these metallic embellishments on them and a little stamped bird image. You're going to get all the pieces to make this card and put it together using this embossing folder. It, the only thing you'll need to add is the stamping. I am using the Petal Passion stamp set, or I'm sorry, I think it's the Petal Palette stamp set, but you can use any stamp set that you like. You can use any sentiment and any little image that goes right there. So let's get started and I'll show you how to put this card together. So anybody who is receiving my customer appreciation gift is going to get all their pieces in a little packet like this one along with their embossing folder. Um, all the cutting is done for you, so all you have to do is add stamping and assemble it. But I also wanted to give directions in case you want to make that card and you aren't getting my kit. So we are going to start with the paper. I'll go ahead and give you those dimensions. This is a Calypso Coral card base. It's an 8.5 inch by 5.5 inch piece. So basically it's an 8.5 by 11 piece of cardstock cut in half. Then I put my long edge at the top of the scoring board and I scored it four and a quarter inches. If you get the card kit, that's already going to be done for you. Then you're also going to get a piece of Petal Passion Designer Series paper that is five and a quarter inches by three and a quarter inches. This is double sided paper so you can use um, whatever design that you like and it may vary. Um, your card kit may vary depending on paper availability. Then you're going to get a cardstock strip that is five and a quarter inches by two and a quarter inches and that's going to be in the same color as the card base. Then you're going to get a little strip that is three quarter inches by three and a half inches. You're going to get a little scalloped circle die cut and you're going to get two little metallic embellishments, either the um, flowers or you're going to get the leaves. The next thing we're going to do is some stamping. I'm using my Petal Palette stamp set. This comes in two cases. You get a ton of stamps. I'm going to use this little bird and then I'm going to use the thank you sentiment, but any of these sentiments up here would be a great size to use on this card has best wishes for everything. I just love you from the heart and congratulations. So you can make whatever type card you want. And of course, if you get the kit and you don't have this stamp set, you can use whatever stamps you do have on hand. So I'm just using black ink. I'm going to start with that thank you stamp. I'm going to ink up the stamp really well. And I'm just going to stamp it at the bottom right corner. Okay, and then I'm going to pull out that two inch scalloped circle and I am going to stamp the little bird right in the middle of that. He's kind of lighter in some areas if you can see. Um, and at first I thought it wasn't inking upright, but that's actually just going to give that little guy some dimension and make him kind of look like he's watercolor. So stamp that right on the middle of the circle. See there you can see he kind of has some shading to him. So that's all the stamping we're going to do. The next step is optional, but you certainly can if you want. If you have markers, um, you can color the little bird in. So I'm going to use the Stampin' Blends in um, Calypso Coral. I'm going to use the brush tip end. And this is the darker marker. 
I have to admit I've not done a whole lot with coloring. I'm not big on coloring. So I need to really learn how to use these and get those shading right. But you, the basic gist is you color the areas, um, certain areas darker and using the dark shade of the marker and then you come back in with the light shade of the Stampin' Blend and you go over that and blend it together so that it looks like there's highlighting. It's really kind of a cool thing. I, like I said, I'm going to have to do some more uh, research on it and watch some videos and learn how to color with these markers better. Um, one thing I will say, they do bleed through the paper. So you are going to want to put something down underneath your work surface to protect. Like right now I just have some cardboard. But it's really quick and easy to color it. See right there on the back it bleeds through so I just put a little scrap of cardboard down. But anyway I just kind of like the look it gives. It gives some shading and some dimension to the little guy and super fun to do. I hope to be doing some Stampin' Blends videos for you in the future when I learn more about it myself. The next thing you want to do is you want to emboss this cardboard or cardstock strip. I'm using the flower pattern in the free gift for this month. And that's going to fit just inside that folder. You want to kind of center it, close it up, make your standard sandwich, and run it through your die cut machine. I'm not going to do that today. I didn't want to grab my die cut machine just for this little step. So I have one that's already completed super pretty. You can either do the negative side, which is this one, or you can do the other side. I think they're both equally gorgeous, so feel free to use whichever side you prefer when you put your card together. Okay, now we've got all our pieces ready and we can put our card together. You want to start with that bigger piece of designer series paper. Use whatever side you prefer. You can kind of lay it out and see um, how you're going to like it. I think I'm going to go with the polka dots showing on this particular card. As I said though, the designer series paper pattern in the kit may vary. Just adding some adhesive to the back there. I'm going to stick it down on the card. You want to center it above that sentiment. I try to leave an equal space from the top of the card to the designer series paper and leave about the same amount of space between that and the sentiment. Next thing you want to do is put your embossed piece down. Now anytime you are using um, embossed cardstock, I recommend using fast fuse. It just helps it stick a little bit better since it's a stronger so adhesive. So just center that right in the center of your designer series paper strip. Next, you want to add this little strip of designer series paper. Again, I'm using Fast Fuse. And I just want to center that on the embossed piece. Now we're ready to put our stamped image down, so I'm going to add some Stampin' Dimensionals to the back of that so it sticks up a little bit. For this little piece, about three will do you. And just remove all the backings and then center that little bird on that designer series paper strip just like that and then the last thing we're going to do is add our little metallic embellishments you're going to need glue dots for those since that's heavier you don't want those to pop off oops so just put a glue dot on the back of both of those embellishments And then you can place them on your card wherever you now, like. Now for the flower embellishments, I kind of like those on top of that scallop circle. But if your kit contains the little leaf embellishments, you can kind of tuck those underneath the scallop circle. So it looks like it's coming out from underneath of it. I kind of like that look. So here are those finished cards again. I just love how they turned out so pretty with that embossing folder in the background. Just love it. So that's all I have for you today, but before I go, I'd like to take a moment and let you know of two great ways to earn free Stampin' Up! product. Free is always great, right? 
So, um, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I like to offer a customer appreciation gift to any customer who places a $50 order through my online Stampin' Up! store and uses the current month's host code. So, February 2018's gift is the Petal Pair Embossing Folder Set and a card kit to use that embossing folder. So that goes out to you absolutely free, and it comes from me directly. It's just my way of saying thank you to my customers. But then also, celebration is going on right now, and from now until March 31st, for every $50 in product that you purchased, you get to pick out a free gift from the celebration brochure, and Stampin' Up! will send that directly to you with your order. So it's full of stamp sets and paper and embellishments and all sorts of things. You get to pick out one item for every $50 and there's no limit, so if you purchase $100, you get two items and so forth. So it's a great way to get free craft supplies. So if you're interested in any of the supplies I used in today's video tutorial, you can get those through my online Stampin' Up! store. I would love to have your business. Um, if you have any comments or questions, be sure to leave them for me below, and I will be sure to get back to you right away. So I hope this video has inspired you to make some handmade cards. If you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy crafting!